Hey, it's Ginger Boy. Welcome back once again to Jump. So, let's go and check out the Suspicious Warehouse starting off. And I need the yellow switch to uh, do anything in here. Though it is a nice little life farm of sorts. Nothing too special. But, uh, huh. Interesting. Okay, I can go down here. Looks like some things are hidden in this place. Well, yeah, seeing as there was a thing that fell down. Anyway, rag, uh, rad rugby knoll. So, start off by sliding down. There's a fire flower, which I don't need. And Chuckman Geysers all around. Probably going to be the primary... Primary thing of this hack. Hack? This level is, uh... Checker... Check Geysers. <laughs> and there's a lot of things. Anyway, let us just fly up here. There was... Okay. Just that stuff. No. I was I was hoping I could keep my flight going a little bit. Anyway, let's check things out. And die out of uh ugh, incompetence. So let us go and get the mushroom that's right here and hopefully not get killed. So, needing or wanting to uh, figure out everything in this place. And that guy is majorly in the way. Don't want him around. There we go. Check all the things to make sure there isn't anything uh, funky going on. Because I am still moderating this hack. And as such, dying on purpose and checking midway points and then rewinding back. That's kind of how I check uh, midway points, to be honest, to uh, make sure that they're actually working. I rewind back so I don't have to play through the entirety of the level again. Because as I've mentioned, if I uh, make it through the midway point at least, um, I know I've I've gotten to that far in the level without issue, so I don't really need to worry about it too much. However, this is giving me a bunch of problems, probably because Chuck guys are a little, a little, uh, unpredictive. Yeah, pretty much. They're a little unpredictive. Nothing too horrible and massive, massive slow down there. Okay, so nothing there. What about down here? Nothing there. And uh, what about over here? In fracker frick. Okay. There we go. There we have it. And let's just move on. Pipes in literally everyone's business. Did that one even have? No, that one didn't have dragon coins. I didn't collect any. Then it was like, wait, do I actually have any to collect? No, but I have some to collect in this level. Pipes in everyone's business. So, let us just go and uh, figure out what we need to do. And I don't think I was supposed to kill that guy. Granted, jump is doable either way, but definitely a lot easier with that Koopa guy. Checking all the pipes for things. Why not? Because I want to make sure everything is working correctly, like it should be. 
Okay. Well, so far so good. And I want to check those. Uh, nothing there. And I did say, I will admit, I did say that I was going to do this primarily without save states. And for the most part, I will. For little minor things, it's not going to interfere gameplay-wise. I'm not too concerned. What I would be concerned with is anything that's really big and broken. But if it's to avoid a simple hit, yeah, I don't really care too much. The uh, majority, though, yeah, pretty much just getting through the level. Um, actually, can I get back up there? Probably not. Well, there's a uh, hidden one up. Good to know. There we go. That is what I wanted. And testing the midway point now. So that leads down here, which probably leads over there. So let's rewind and check this other place out. Probably goes to the same spot. Yes, it does. Get me a new cape, because my old one decided to go away in a very unfortunate manner. Trap a uh, shell within some pipes. And probably be able to do the same thing with this. Can I? Yep, I can. Okay. So <laughs> there you have it. Um, uh, there's... Come on, three dragon coins. This is one of the levels that starts to get into the realm of uh, harder than it probably should be. There we go, dragon coin up there that I didn't see. Um, okay, so I can just go down there. So I can go up here. Something tells me that is a way to go, but maybe not the way to go to get a dragon coin. Though I could be wrong, because this actually looks like the way to go, and the other way seems like it stops. So probably that direction is how you get the dragon coin. There we go. And moving back over in this direction. So let's try that again. Make sure this all works right. Because why not? Allows me to get the cape again. That guy falls down, yet he respawns pretty quickly. And then I can throw this guy down there. And somehow, I don't know how I'm doing a lot of these little tiny jumps that I don't think I should be able to. Okay, and do that, and this, and get up here, and go down there. A whole lot easier when I don't have to really worry about trying to find things like the dragon coins. And get me another cape. Jump up here, and wait for this guy, and go down here. Huh. Okay, so it's made, so can't really do that. Uh, well, that I was not really expecting. So let's try again. See what I can do in this manner. That guy got him to not spawn a second time. Yeah, it's the the squishing pipes are what's really throwing me off. Okay, and up here. Go down there. 
And uh, over here, up here, get me a second feather. And wait for that one. And just continue on in this direction. There we go. That is an awkward jump. Awkward is right. Um, I don't know how legitimately I'm supposed to get that, but, uh, actually, I'm curious about something. Can I? Ah, it's solid. Good, good, good. And there we go. So there is that. Kind of only got through a couple levels, but I don't really have time to do much more in this episode. But I will be back with more next time. See you guys then.